Intro to Python Modules. A module contains functions, variables, and other data points that we want to import and use inside our own scripts. Let's start a script called log.py. We're going to import the module called math. Typically, these import statements are placed at the very top of a script. This very short script will print out the value returned by the function called log inside the math module. First, with a parameter of 1 passed to log. Next, with a parameter of 0.5 passed to log. Let's run the script. First, chmod and run. And here we have the log of 1 and the log of 0.5. Let's try to understand how modules work. Let's try to understand how they work better by writing a module of our own. Let's say that I have a script inside the working directory, inside my home directory. And I call it foo.py. We'll go ahead and put a shebang inside here. Oops. Which will indicate we want to run the script with Python. I'm able to import any modules I've created inside the same directory with an import statement. Right now, I'm saying import a module called bar. We haven't created bar yet. Let's create it now. I'll simply create a .py script as I did with foo. I don't intend to run this script as an executable, so I'm not going to put the shebang at the top. Instead, I'm going to define a function. Let's call it bar with a capital B. That function takes one argument called x. and it returns x times itself, that is, x squared. Now I've saved that function inside bar. Let's look again at foo. Now that I've imported my module called bar, I'm capable of using the functions inside bar inside the foo uh, script. Let's make this a print statement. Now, the script should use the function called bar, capital B, inside the module called bar, lowercase b, with an argument of 9 passed to it. ch 
mod. And I'm only giving execute permissions to the script that I want to be able to run, not to the module, which does not require execute permissions. And there we have 9 squared, 81. <clears throat> so what happened? We had our script, our Python script called foo.py. We imported the module bar, which is placed inside the same directory as foo.py. We then import the function called bar, capital B, inside the module bar, lowercase b, giving it an argument of 9. We look for capital B bar inside the module lowercase b bar, and that code is executed and then print it out here from foo.py. Here are some other ways I could import from bar. Let's say that I don't want to import the entire module bar. I could write from lowercase b bar, from the module bar, import the function capital B bar. If I have more than one function inside bar, but I'm only interested in using this one, this is a statement I can use. So what's the difference between this and import lowercase b bar. Now I can be less verbose later in the script. Notice now that I've taken away the lowercase b bar dot in front of capital B bar. Let's see if this still runs. The behavior is the same. By explicitly referencing the, the function capital B bar up here in the import statement, I no longer need to specify that we are looking for the bar inside lowercase b bar. Oops. If I wanted to be non-verbose or less verbose about all of the functions inside bar, I could use this syntax. From lowercase bar, from module bar, import star, that is import everything. And still it works.